Is that what they are? I always wondered what they were. I thought they were some kind of ordinance oh thing God. that told you where we were geographically. Yeah, I yeah. never knew that was a fire hydrant. A H hydrant, I presume. Your dad's going to yeah. give you some. My, my, my dad <laughs> used to be a fireman in London uh, back in the day. Dad, if you are watching, and mum, love you guys. Greetings and welcome back to another British Family Reacts video and in today's video Mrs H, me, Baby H and myself are going to be reacting to another Lost in the Pond video and this one is entitled Seven Outdoor Objects I Never Saw Before Move Into America Just trying to think about things that might be different um, Outdoor objects. Ooh. I suppose the cages that go around swimming pools. Because <laughs> we don't have swimming pools. Oh, I see. Me like the fly screen thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. don't have many swimming pools in the UK. No. Um, mm. Outdoor. Oh, it's got to be something like a barbecue smoker, maybe. Oh, yeah. That's a good we idea. Don't have those. Yeah. Oh, uh, hopefully we get to have a barbecue the weekend if the weather's good. Ride on mower. Don't see many of those over here. Yes, yeah, so it depends what size his yard is because over yeah. here our yards are quite small, aren't they? And yeah. if you had a ride on mower, by the time you started it up, it'd be time to turn it off again. If you are new to the channel and you like reaction videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Alana is enjoying her baby Yoda that was actually sent from America as well, and she absolutely loves it. Quick shout out to all our Patreons. If you would like to see your name here, check out the link in the pinned comments for all the fun packed perks. Before we get into the video, we just would like to say a very, very special thank you to everyone that supports this channel, whether you're watching, interacting, members, patrons, and liking the videos. We really, really appreciate we it. We do, yeah. The channel would be nothing without all of you exactly. guys. Exactly. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have the studio. We wouldn't be learning all these amazing things about America. That's right. Right, let's get on with the video. Yes. Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America yeah. lost in the pond. And speaking of lost, I'm start I'm starting <sighs> to lose my marbles being in quarantine so <sighs> long. And being here for now, I think it's eight days, I've been giving some thought to some of the things that I miss about the outside world. And, you know, I'm not just talking about sort of fast food joints that are different in both countries, but sort of just really random mundane objects, you know, like a week wheelbarrow for example I'm not I'm not suggesting we don't have wheelbarrows in England that's just that's an example of a mundane object and I want to talk about specifically seven of those objects that I hadn't seen until I'm so I was thinking outdoor objects like what you'd find in your yard but expanding on this I'm going to say the fire hydrants yes yeah yes we don't get any of the fire hydrants sorry I just thought of that one but um yeah I'll shut up we'll see what Lawrence tells us I moved to America Still water taps. Oh. oh, and they always have like the state name on it, or yeah, like, I've seen them on various different programs. Yeah, you see them on films and stuff. And yeah, I think it was one of the Superman videos. Was it one of the Superman yeah. films? He picks up what the water tower, and does it over a load of um like fire and stuff. Maybe I just made it up. But I'm pretty sure. It'd be pretty cool if you did. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I'm really longing for those water towers, steel water towers specifically, because we do have water towers in Britain, but they're concrete and look really brutalist. And like well, I've never seen one in the UK before. No, well, we, we may have done, but not realised they're like a water tower. But It looks like um, some kind of lookout yeah. tower and with a fort on it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> and it looks like it's the back of people's houses. Yeah. You can see there's little houses in the background, I mean... Bit of an eyesore, have, you know, looking out your window in the morning, seeing that monstrosity. Definitely. But yeah, interesting. They were made in the 60s. In America, all across the country, they have these kind of water towers that are just, they're in the middle of nowhere usually, and they're made of steel, and mm. on the facade of them, they have the name of the town, and it's usually... Town, yeah. Oh, I said state, yeah. I'm no, a no, bit no. bigger. Yeah, yeah. Something like Snakesville. And you never see anybody near them or in them. I don't know what they'd be doing in them, <laughs> replenishing the water. I, I don't know how water towers work. I just know that America has a lot of them and you see them when you're on the highway, motorway, mm. just like our next entry. Highway billboards. Oh yeah, we don't have any billboards on the motorways. They are sometimes in like fields on the side of a motorway. Or in cities. Yeah, but not like, like London. I, I guess they like. don't want to distract you too much when you're driving on the no, motorway. Exactly. The only thing you've got is the traffic signs. Yeah, I didn't think about that. 
Yes, highway-based billboards. Who would have thought? I certainly wouldn't have until I moved to the United States. And that's because we don't really have them in Britain. We do have them in city centres, but you're not going to find them on the side of the road, you know, because it's distracting, especially yeah. when it says something, you know, profound like Jesus has risen. You're going to take notice of that and, you know, crash into the car in front of you. And <laughs> if you don't have insurance, then you are screwed. Ironically, a lot of the billboards are for insurance, so at least you know who to call. I joked a moment ago about the kinds of things you might see on American highway billboards, but the, the truth is anyone can really get an ad on those things. They often say, advertise here if there's nothing on it. And unless you have A, no heart, and B, a death wish, you also wouldn't want to crash into the back of one of these. Yellow school yeah. buses, oh my God. Yes, jeez. Um, nil, point, nil points for me. You were going to go Neil Poir then, weren't you? Mm. Going to go all French. Yes. Yellow school buses, of course. Yellow school buses. If anything, for buses we have over here for schools are coaches, which I don't know if you have coaches over there, or just like mini buses. Do you want a yellow school bus? What's Grogu saying? Yellow school buses. I didn't grow up here as a child, so of course I never got to ride one. Probably never will, unless I become no. a bus driver or a parent on some sort of school trip. Do they do that? I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, growing up, I did see school buses, yellow school buses, in films like Superman and Forrest Gump. Those are just examples of films but you know i didn't think they existed in real life this was quite a revelation to me they're everywhere you know it's not just it's not just in indiana where i uh, sorry to keep pausing now am i right in saying you're not allowed to overtake a school bus i don't think you're allowed to overtake or well, there's something on the back that's saying you shouldn't overtake please correct me if i'm wrong but i just something in my mind that might be another one actually mailboxes because we don't tend to have mailboxes here we tend to have letter boxes on yeah. your door so that the post comes through the, directly through the yeah. door it's got our brains going it has where i lived it's also in chicago it's in it's everywhere i mean you do see these yellow school buses everywhere and i, I recognize that the majority of my audience is american and this is probably profoundly weird to hear somebody um talk about how yellow school buses are very widespread in the oh i just thought yellow yellow cabs yeah we don't have yellow cabs we have black cabs but yeah. are there yellow cabs everywhere or is it only in new york oh uh, yeah it might just be new york actually i don't know please let us know in the comments below we'd really appreciate it and if you are enjoying the video please drop us a like in this country um but i don't think they're used anywhere else in the world or at least to my knowledge they're certainly not used in britain i used to get to school by jogging that's not true i did take the <laughs> bus but it was one of those sort of stagecoach buses yeah. double decker so i got to sit on top um, yeah. not at the back with the cool kids you know at <laughs> the front actually and uh but they weren't yellow and i'm i as you can see i like yellow I'm wearing this in solidarity with the school children. I'm not. It's just, it's the first thing I found in my wardrobe. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said that yellow school buses were the only outdoor object that I learned through the films. Uh, th th that also applies to our next entry. White picket fences. Ah. Okay. I've seen some over here, but. Yeah, it's not very many, it's is it? It's not very prevalent, is it? No. Good white one. picket fences the like of which you see in the film american beauty and other such suburban based films it's i mean it reminds me of american suburbia now mm. that i've lived here long enough but for the longest time you know it was just part of the sort of movie set for me uh, to make something look very pristine and idyllic and all of that you'll occasionally see white picket fences here in different parts of chicago they're kind of rare i suppose but you do tend to see them at houses of families who've really taken care of their garden okay and in britain we don't have these kind of fences a lot of our garden are sort of framed off by brick walls or sometimes just shrubs and bushes and things. That's not a euphemism. You'll also see in the US mesh fences around gardens as well. Oh, uh, of... yeah. Yeah low down you know they're, they're just high enough that dogs can jump over them but never do because they're too stupid and they seem like they're there to just sort of stop people from breaking in especially those fences that have beware of the dog on the side now please america or anyone watching this don't take this as a green light to think you can go and burgle people's houses in britain that they still have security measures and, and fences too i'm i'm underplaying it but we don't have white picket fences we also don't have these Front yard uh, yeah. mailboxes, yes. Well done, darling. Allow me to clarify, our houses do have mailboxes in the United Kingdom, except our mail doesn't go into a mailbox, it goes into a letterbox, and our mail's called the post. I hope that was clear.
And those letterboxes are usually on the front door, right? So Letterman or yep. Postman, that's Letterman is a chat show host. Uh, postman, post women, post people, right? They have to go right up to the door and become intimate with your house. Not so in the United States, or at least not always. Uh, you will have those kind of houses where just in front of their garden or yard, they'll have a mailbox that's sticking on kind of a pole. And there's just this, this tube, I suppose, a metal tube into which you put things. And then people have to go out and get it. I suppose it does it does promote exercise, which is needed in these these quarantine days. Um, we just don't want to come into contact with the post people or mail people. And we've got to give a shout out to our postman if he ever does watch the channel. Thank you for delivering all our Mr. H and friends mail. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. And the guys from Parcel Force as well. Yeah, Absolutely and also funny. apologies to the postman for the um, crude joke one that came to Mr. H with oh, the, Smell uh, My Thong, which my was thong, yeah. rather embarrassingly <laughs> received by myself. <laughs> It doesn't matter what you call them. They're the same entity. Well, the different people. You get the point, basically. Don't touch the post people. And if you do, <laughs> wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap, making sure not to get your water from one of these. Cynical fire hydrants. Yes. Said oh, that. I'm on fire. You're on fire. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. When I was 19 years old, I was a big gamer. I was well into video games. And one of the video games that I played was a little game called Die Hard with a Vengeance. And oh, yeah. you're just swanning around New York City, I think, probably. And you can crash your car into just stuff, right? And one of those stuff was a fire hydrant, a very American-looking fire hydrant that looks like this. Yeah. They're more or less cylindrical, speaking in a pitch that only dogs recognize. <laughs> Describe them as that to differentiate them from fire hydrants in Britain. Fire hydrants in Britain are nowhere near as sexy, and believe me, I didn't think I'd wake up today and say that either. They're just these <laughs> brutalist looking square things with a Is that what they are? I always wondered what they were. I thought it was some kind of ordinance oh thing that told you where we were geographically. Yeah, yeah. I never knew that was a fire hydrant. A H hydrant, I presume. Your dad's gonna yeah. give you some. My 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 dad <laughs> used to be a fireman in London. Uh, back in the day, Dad, if you were watching, and Mum, love you guys very, we very do. much. I didn't know that. No, I'm shocked. Well, now we have been, we know something wow. new. Thanks, Lawrence. You've yeah. taught us a bit about the UK about as well. The UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do see him. Yeah, wow. There's an H on them, and no, they're not for landing miniature helicopter, nor do they <laughs> signify a hospital. I, I actually don't know what they do. If a fire breaks out in the middle of the road, I, when does that ever happen? <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do. I don't know how to operate these things, right? Who does? The experts. Whereas American fire hydrants are absolutely gorgeous. They kind of look like, they kind of look like elongated fireman helmets. Was that on purpose? Again, for the benefit of the dogs. It can't <laughs> have been, and I'm absolutely certain I wouldn't have made the correlation had I not been stuck in here for eight days. I'm going mad, you know? How, how does the outside world look right now? Do people, do people still have wind chimes? Do, do they still, you know, do they still raise these? Flags. Oh, Why yes. do we think of that? We've oh, talked my. so much about the American oh. flags being, oh gosh, my voice is going, outside your houses. Why did we not think of that? Oh, my day. Yes, exactly. Alana, why, why did we think, think of, that? of that? Hang my head in shame for that. Should have got that. The American flag, and I suppose there's a very good reason as to why, you know, I didn't encounter this until I moved to America, and it's because it's America's flag, you know, so that makes total sense right off the bat. I think in Britain, pound for pound, we probably, or at least when I lived there, didn't fly the flag, the British flag, as much as America tends to fly its flag. It's very mm. culturally ingrained to do that, isn't it? My in-laws do it. Everybody does it. Even educated fleas do it. That's mm. That would be impossible. They don't have the strength to lift up fabric. <laughs> but they're bloody smart, hence being educated. I don't, I don't know how I got sidetracked there. But yes, the US flag is absolutely everywhere. Again, this is not just something you'll see in films. And I think there's an understanding that Americans are deeply patriotic slash patriotic. How, how do you pronounce it? Let me know in the comments below. And it's not just outside of people's houses that you'll see these flags. You'll see them on the back of trucks. You'll see them hanging on sort of company buildings. Don't know why I pronounced it like that. And, uh, and just sort of everywhere. I mean, it really is everywhere. Sometimes you'll see absolutely huge American flags and uh, you can usually see them for about five miles away that way at least you know what country you're in 
Wow, that was quite interesting, learning the different things that Lawrence notices around the US that we don't have here in the UK. And I'm going to hang my head in shame, particularly the flags. Yeah, we talk so much about you guys being very patriotic and having your flags outside. Mm. And do you say patriotic? or patriotic. Ah. If you do like the US flag even more, we've got a UK US merged flag on our merch store, which you can buy on various t-shirt, uh, tank top. And if you do join our Patreon, depending on your tier, after three months, you actually get a free hybrid flag t-shirt. So check that out in the pinned comments. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoy our reactions, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and be notified every time we upload a new video. That's, That's it. Right. And all that leaves us to say is take care. God bless. And, and, uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And <laughs> Alana just wants to say bye to you all. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. And see you all in the next, next video. video.